Hello, Christmas is coming and the temperatures are falling. It's going to turn quite a lot colder as we go through the Christmas period, in particular across the south, thanks to a brisk easterly wind. The pressure chart to start the week is, uh, well, quite frankly, a bit of a mess. An old area of low pressure down to the southwest, bits and bobs of weather fronts trying to move in, but high pressure dotted all around us. One down to the south, one out to the west, and another one out to the east. And these two, well, they're going to kind of become friends and join up over the Christmas period. And high pressure will dominate our weather from Christmas Eve onwards, sitting somewhere out in the North Sea. And with high pressure, the air is sinking, so that's going to bring a lot of dry weather. But with the high pressure sitting here, notice the isobars quite close together across the southern half of the UK, and the winds go clockwise around high pressure. So we are going to draw in this easterly wind. That will be noticeable. Brisk, cold winds. But this isn't really a beast from the east. If we put the temperature profiles on, the air across Central Europe isn't particularly cold. So it's not going to be an icy blast. It'll just be quite a bit colder than it has been recently. That easterly breeze will start to pick up during Tuesday. Also bringing in a fair bit of cloud, I suspect. With an easterly wind, it's areas to the west of the hills that do best for sunshine. So parts of West Wales, maybe southwest England, should see some sunny spells. But for most, dry and cloudy sums up Tuesday. That easterly wind will start to make its presence felt, particularly on those North Sea coasts. And there's a couple of old weather fronts just draped across northern Scotland, providing some outbreaks of rain here. And there could be some early showers in the southwest too, where temperatures with a bit of brightness might get into double digits. Elsewhere, we're looking at single figures, actually around about the average for the time of year, but that's quite a bit lower than it has been for most of this month, and it will feel colder on those North Sea coasts as that easterly starts to pick up. That's only going to get stronger as those two high pressures kind of merge together, squeezing out this weather front across northern Scotland for Christmas Eve. That weather front may still provide some thicker clouds uh, with the Grampians, a little bit of uh, light rain is possible. There could be a bit of drizzle elsewhere. But for most places, looking a bit brighter on Christmas Eve, better chance of seeing some sunny spells. Again, with an easterly wind, it'll be parts of the west that are favoured for blue skies with a good part of the country seeing fairly cloudy conditions. And look at the temperatures for Christmas Eve. Five, six, seven degrees Celsius. And again, feeling colder as that wind starts to strengthen. These temperatures certainly in the south below average for the time of year. And again, quite a lot colder than it has been. So quite noticeable. What about Christmas Eve uh, into Christmas Day? Well, that easterly wind's going to help Santa move in, a uh, following wind. But with high pressure dominating and light winds across the north, could be some mist and fog around. So we may need Rudolf, Rudolf to guide the way. And uh, there's likely to be a, a touch of frost where we've got clear skies as well as some mist and fog across parts of Scotland. Elsewhere, well, generally dry and, uh, yeah, a mixture uh, of clouds cloud and sunny spells. Don't take these maps too literally with high pressure hanging around. Wouldn't take much uh, to provide quite a bit of cloud here and there, but I'm hopeful that some places will have blue skies for your Christmas Day walk. If you're going for a Christmas Day swim, however, particularly along the south coast of England or the east coast, well, be prepared for it to feel cold with that brisk wind which continues to strengthen. So quite a blustery, gusty day across the south, especially the south coast. Look at the temperatures on the thermometer. It'll read five, six, maybe seven degrees Celsius, but that wind will make it feel particularly in the south, close to, if not below, freezing. So quite a significant wind chill blowing along the south coast especially, but feeling pretty raw on most of those North Sea coasts too. Just notice a bit of blue on the chart there. There is the possibility, particularly late in the day, of seeing some showers drifting up across the southwest. Now, with the cold air in place, they may provide the old flake of snow. So technically it might be a white Christmas, say, on Bodmin Moor or Dartmoor. But for most places, it's a dry Christmas day. And that will continue into Boxing Day as well as the high pressure sticks around to the east. Another weather front tries to move in, but uh, really doesn't make much 
progress. So where we've got clear skies and light winds, we will see a frost to Boxing Day morning, and then we should see, again, some good spells of sunshine. Looks as if there'll be maybe a bit more cloud returning for Boxing Day across the south, but again, don't take that too literally. It was hard to pin down cloud under these areas of high pressure. But it makes a big difference to the feel of the day because a sunny day with light winds feeling quite pleasant, even though the temperature is only 4, 5, 6 degrees Celsius. That wind will again be noticeable, making it feel quite a bit colder across England and Wales in particular. But again, it looks like a dry day. And that dry theme going to continue even as we head into 2026. The high pressure not shifting anywhere. So certainly through the weekend, still the dominant force. So again, a lot of dry weather as we head into the weekend and probably beyond. You'll want to keep up to date, especially if you're traveling over the Christmas period. So the best way to do that, follow us on social media. If you're watching this on YouTube, just hit subscribe.